Welcome to 25th of December's Godly Blessing. A very happy and a Merry Christmas to all of you. From today onwards, the day is going to get longer and the nights are going to get shorter, but it's going to take some time. This is also a remembrance of when we become enlightened. That means the darkness within us reduces and the light starts emanating from within us. And that's the level of purity which can be attained through divinity. Now this divinity is attained through godly guidance and godly knowledge and that's what we're going to discuss about today in this Vardhan. What does God have to say in this beautiful blessing? Godfather wants us to be an embodiment of knowledge and then he says not just be an embodiment of knowledge by listening to knowledge or while remembering that knowledge but enact in the same manner. So let's understand that. God says may you be an embodiment of knowledge at the confluence age and make your every moment thought and second powerful. So God says, as well as listening to and relating knowledge, also put knowledge into your form. That means become an embodiment of that knowledge. Whatsoever knowledge is giving us, whether it's a practice of tolerance, whether it's a practice of peace, whether it's a practice of love, universal love, whether it's a practice of complete purity in the mind. It is not just about saying it, but it's about having it within ourselves. Then God says, those whose every thought, word and action is powerful are said to be embodiments of knowledge. Now, power can only come when we have a very pure intention towards any karma, any person, any activity. The most important thing is to make your seed of thought powerful your seed of thought powerful. Now imagine you put a seed and then there are weeds and you find out that oh I put the seed in a place where there are a lot of small stones so obviously it's not going to grow that means we have to remove all those waste thoughts we have to remove all those we have to remove all those impure thoughts for example let me do this work oh what if this person doesn't come on time what if that person comes and belittles me what if that person makes my path a little difficult? What if the government doesn't allow me to do? What if this person doesn't? If your intention is pure and for everybody's benefit, yes, there are going to be people who are going to be not allowing you to move ahead. But then yes, if your intention is pure, then you'll have support of the Supreme Creator. And that's very, very crucial. That's very important. That's what God is trying to say over here. And the rest of the ifs and buts and doubts are the waste thoughts. That means we have to purify our thoughts, remove the doubts, remove the waste thoughts, remove the fear, remove the conditions which we are applying on our own. So God then says, the most important thing is to make your seed of thought powerful. If your seed of thought is powerful, then your words, actions and relationships easily become powerful too. Automatically, everybody around you, surrounding you, starts helping you out because your intention is felt by every soul. And they feel that the thought is very powerful too. To be an embodiment of knowledge means that your every moment, thought and second is powerful. Where there is light. Now this is light about enlightenment, purity, divinity. There cannot be darkness. Darkness will be fear, darkness will be doubt, darkness will be what if, darkness will be waste thoughts, darkness will be why not, why it cannot be done. So God says where there is light, where there is a pure intention, pure thought, then automatically the darkness is gone away. Then God says in the same way, if you are powerful, there cannot be any waste. Now waste is what if. How, who will do it, when, where, how long, these are all waste thoughts. When your thought is powerful, automatically everything around you starts moving towards you. At the right time, at the right place and with the right people. And those people are placed in that place for just your work to be done. And that's how powerful your thoughts can be. The situations, the time, the weather, the climate, the people, the situations of even the government, everything can change. Organizations can change, people can change, neighbors can change, your boss can change. Anything can change provided you have a pure intention. 
yes you have the power to design not just your life but even the life of the world around you and even other people's lives so how do you do that is what you learn in brahma kumaris first purify the seed that is the thought how to do it do visit brahma kumari center and understand this in details with this om shanti